Spoiler alert, I already got the roof installed. <laughs> Estoy nadie aquí. I've been meaning to do this video. Uh, I have a Tesla roof. I like Tesla. <laughs> I like making money. And I wanted to make my dumb house smart. <laughs> so, when Tesla first announced that they were going to implement a solar roof, it was very interesting. It did that about four years ago in 2016 I have a video pulled up with that let's go to my desktop just look at a real quick out of Photoshop. clip so let's look at, take a look at some of these roofs what, as I mentioned earlier, what we're really looking for here is how do we have a, a solar roof that is better than a normal roof, um, that uh, looks better, uh, lasts longer, has better insulation, insulating effect, and where the cost of roof plus electricity is, is less than that of a normal roof. Now, this is, um, this is sort of the integrated future. You've got an electric car, a power wall, and Solar, and a solar roof. And the, the key is that it's, it needs to be beautiful, affordable, and, in, and seamlessly integrated. Um, and then if, if, if all those things are, are true, why would you go any other direction? So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna show you, this is the before shot of that house over there. So that's what it looked like before. Now that's um, all solar. Yeah. Clap, 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 clap. Let me get some close-up shots one. so we can show. And that's the solar roof version one. And if you look, if you look carefully, you can actually see. So, earlier this year, when. I heard that they were actually selling the product because after they released version one, they were only testing it on certain roofs. I went to tesla.com to look and see if it was available on the website. And sure enough, it was version three. So I ordered it and they came out and did my install this past September, which only took two weeks, took two weeks. Uh, most of those days were, or a few of those days were rainy days, so that's the reason why it took, I guess, that long. But other than that, the install really didn't take that long. A couple of days, three, four, maybe five days for the actual roof installation. So I, I got some pictures pulled up because I don't have video of my roof installation. But I will show an uh, uh, installation process of the solar roof at the end of this video. And I just wanted to show some pictures of what my house used to look like and what it looked like during the transformation. All right. So here's my original house. Look at that. The roof looked very uneducated. Not doing nothing over there very useless uh. so the first thing that they did was took the top off got in his guts put a they said it was a fire retarded material and while they were at it they went on ahead and you know put some makeup on her Made it look a little nice than what you did before. And 
that's after they put the solar tiles on this little close-up view of all the tiles after installed the non-solar material right here solar solar panels right here and here and here looks super nice super shiny being kissed by the sun absorbing all of that energy black roof, the makeup, completely transformed the house. And gave it a little bit of life. And then that's the inside of the garage where the batteries are stored. The new uh, panel for the breakers, for the backup uh, breaker. Uh, but so far the the roof has been uh, in my opinion a good choice a good decision it saved me a lot of money so far the first week after installation or once I got the permission to operate it was at like the end of my bill cycle for September so I had it on for one week and like a day my bill went from $105 to $36. Just having it activated just one week and a day. After that, my bill dropped in the next month from that 36 to about 18. And the majority of that was just service taxes and fees for being, you know, connected to the to my service provider. Now, if I wanted to, I can uh, do the buyback program, but right now it's not it's not in my best interest right now to do the buyback program uh, I'm gonna wait to Get two more batteries installed first Right now those two batteries if I get like three days of cloud cover They probably last me that three days before I have to start using the grid again, but Once I get two more batteries, I'll probably be able to last a full week without having to touch the grid. So I think once I get those extra two batteries, then it'll be more advantageous for me to do the buyback program. And that'll pretty much uh, mean that my energy company is, that'll mean my energy company is paying me for the electricity that I don't use. So any electricity that is sent back into the grid by my house, any excess electricity that I generate will be sent back into the grid. And for that unused electricity, they will pay me. But the problem is it's in credits. The buyback program isn't good for me right now due to it being the winter months and we get a lot of cloud cover around this time. But I think once I get two more batteries, I'll feel more comfortable with the buyback program because the only problem because the only problem that I see with the buyback program right now is the fact that in order for the the electric company to buy electricity from you at the highest price you need to buy electricity from them at the highest price and my electric company right now <laughs> is pretty cheap so but Here's a video displaying the installation process. I hope this convinces some newer people to get into it. Uh, if I could, I would try to put as many solar roofs on homes as possible because it's just a good idea. It's uh, better, it's more efficient, it helps. Uh, manage the power output in your home and not to mention it helps balance the the grid helps save the city money the more homes that get solar uh, they probably use some of that money to actually 
repair roads and maybe build schools like they promised. But here's uh, the installation video that I said I would show in the beginning. We started Wendelin Sons uh, because we thought we needed to save for college. So I was 14, my brothers were, uh, Eric was 16, Tim was 12. I really care about the roofing aspect of the Tesla system, not just the solar uh, components of it. And as far as a roofing, a roofing system goes, I couldn't be more pleased. Um, it's designed well, uh, it installs well, um, and I think the look is phenomenal. What, what is Tesla roofing or Tesla solar roof? It's not the conventional solar panels that we always see like that are, that are uh, unsightly on your roof. It is actually a, a roof system itself. This particular panel here, this is a power generating tile. It has wiring integrated into the back here as well. And then we have these feet that fasten onto the roofing itself. Um, the, the tile is designed to look like a slate, a slate roof and we also have non-generating tiles. So we're starting to lay the photovoltaic tiles on this slope of the roof. Um, sometimes we call them the active tiles as opposed to just the tempered glass tiles. And one of the things we do when we start the day is we test the voltage on a single tile. And so right now I have my multimeter plugged in. It's getting about 12, 12.2 volts. Um, what's interesting about these, even on a cloudy day, they usually test about 11 to 11 and a half volts, uh, up to as much as 13. And so we're looking right in that 12 volt range, um, but we'll calibrate to start. And then as we go, as we string together maybe a set of four tiles, then we'll take a, take a reading on that whole string. Some of the first conversations that we have with our clients as they express interest in a solar roof is to gather the electrical data from their home. So we'll take an energy bill, one month reading, whatever they're using, um, and um, get a, an annual average on their energy usage on their home. And from that number, we generate a sizing of PV panels, the solar gathering panels on the roof, and we go ahead and design the roof system around that sizing. So what we have here is a solar PV panel, and they clip into the little foot, just like so, lined up slap men these panels are extremely durable have a class 3 hail impact resistant rating you can sit there pound on them no damage to the tiles themselves then you go ahead nail them down then you have this run coming up from your PV tiles coming up this way gonna hook those together then this run is going to continue up the roof and eventually once we get more tiles laid in the, this run will get dropped through and that'll supply your power. So one of the things you'll notice about the, the roof system, uh, the Tesla solar roof system, is that there are a lot of components that are really similar to a standing seam. And so it matters when you're installing the product that you know what you're doing with the flashing details. Um, one of the reasons I think our team is such a natural fit for the product is that we have guys that are, that are really well equipped and trained to install this system. 
one of the reasons I chose the Tesla roof is one, I want to believe in the things that we sell and install. I want to know that it's a good system. Um, I'm, I uh, did a lot of research, we, the team did a lot of research, uh, had hands on uh, with the product in California, but we really do want to know that it's something we can stand behind and if issues were to come up, that we'd know what they were. Um, and so, so that's one of the reasons I chose it. The other is we use a lot of electricity. So my wife and five kids uh, that are home a lot, uh, we like to keep it cool, and so we have higher electric bills. Um, and so when we saw the Tesla product, it really caught our eye um, to meet another need uh, for clients that uh, are interested in providing power to their home. Okay, well, I hope this was informative. If you're thinking about getting a Tesla roof or any Tesla product, use my um, use my referral code in the description below. And I'm out. And. What the hell?